difference between a bore surface and a hone surface. Why can't we just bore it, put pistons in it and run it? Well, the issue is this under a microscope, that is what the surface looks like. It's torn, it's ripped out of there. On a bore, this is your surface. So what we do is we take that. Now we need to get this back down to base metal. You've got what's called peaks and valleys. And we need to go in there and make, make we still need valleys, we still need to retain oil but we need to go in there and get our hone set up. So basically what we're doing now is our hone comes in and we've got much sharper, smaller peaks and valleys. Okay, that's good, that's great. The issue is we still have peaks and valleys and now we wanna do what's called plateau honing and we're gonna go in and take off all the peaks and make these like plateaus, if that makes sense. And so your, your ring will glide across that surface, still retaining the oil in there. And uh, what's really cool about that is we have a little machine, a little uh, gauge that will actually read those surfaces. So we can go in and set this up exactly the right surface finish that we want. We'll show you that here at the end. But right now we're gonna get all of these cylinders honed and uh, brought into within about five tenths of finished. And then we will finish it off with the uh, um, plateau honing and stuff. So we'll take you through that process and make sure that this block is perfectly honed and it's straight and everything is going to work like we want it to. Then we'll go in and profilometer it and show you guys what the, uh, how that works.